Heritability creates software for forecasting and planning using model-based AI. We're primarily in aerospace, so our customers are in civil aviation or defense. And in, within civil aviation, our main uses for maintenance planning, so heavy-based maintenance, forecasting, uh, power plants, landing gear, and so on, including cost analysis. And we do this by creating a digital representation of airline operations, and then using that to forecast real and hypothetical future scenarios. The pandemic was tough for everyone, but it feels like we're turning a corner. Our customers, both our existing ones and potential ones, are finding that they are ramping up to levels which are pre-pandemic or beyond. And uh, the major limitation that they're finding is in the supply of new aircraft. So this means that they are extending leases beyond the preferred limits or they're using pre-owned aircraft where they would previously have preferred to use new ones. And all of this adds to the complexity of maintenance planning and gives ever more need for intelligent tools. The ease with which Air Agility allows our customers to compare different outcomes by varying key parameters is very important to them. And this allows them to try out different maintenance policies and make the right decisions given the whole life cost of aircraft, which is very important. And it does so by providing an intuitive digital twin of the airline's enterprise operations. And uh, for example, the aircraft split themselves, availability targets, maintenance planning, supply chain, and so forth. And because it's intuitive, because it is user focused, that means that you don't need deep technical knowledge in order to provide this risk mitigation. The airline industry needs to be able to react to and mitigate the risks of rapid changes and developments in the airline industry, including the French ban on short haul flights, developments in hydrogen and electric powered vehicles, supply chain issues, and so on. You may be able to use old fashioned spreadsheet solutions to eventually get an answer to these questions, but by the time you do, your questions will probably change. And AI is not a solution to every single problem, but wherever you have complexity and you have data, it can be very useful if you're trying to forecast ahead and work out the best plan, the best policies for multiple years ahead, or if you're trying to analyse data coming off of aircraft, then AI solutions can be the most appropriate. Decarbonisation requires R&D, and that requires investment and return on that investment. Safe and economical hydrogen or electric powered commercial flight is still a way off. And so we have to, in the meantime, think of other solutions which we can help get us there step by step, including continued fuel efficiency and sustainable aviation fuel. When we do get viable alternative fuel technology, then we need to be able to plan the infrastructure and the operations in order to make that a reality. And that means we need to have some way of knowing whether what we are planning to do is plausible. Using digital twin based forecasting means that we can get the details, get a plausible idea of how our operations are going to play out. Each year brings new things to consider, and when faced with novel situations, just using past data about different circumstances and applying data-driven AI to it can mean you extrapolate inaccurate or misleading predictions. Instead, our model-based AI approach means that we use your expert knowledge of the day-to-day -day operations of your civil airline in order to know how things work. And so that means we can project forward to new situations and come up with plausible and useful information about how things may pan out. 
it's important as well to ensure that the results you get from an AI system are trustworthy and explainable. You know why you got them. Otherwise, if an AI system just produces a number, saying this will be your aircraft availability, for example, why would you trust it? Why would you believe it? Why would you make very costly decisions on the basis of it? Model-based AI is usefully transparent, meaning that you can understand where this number comes from. But maybe the more important point is that AI technologies are complementary. So, for example, you might use machine learning techniques in order to do predictive maintenance and check the, whether the components on your aircraft need to be repaired in the near future. But then feed that into an approach like Air Agilities, where we can forecast over many years and perform what-if scenarios so you can try out different hypotheses and set your policies accordingly.